Hello and welcome to 3520 Cleveland Avenue, Dayton, Ohio. My name is John Murray with the MurrayGroup.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I will be your host. Here I'm walking up the driveway to the front. One thing you'll notice, we have a brand new roof on this home that's uh, about a week old. Actually, not even a week old, just a couple days old. Large deck on the front. There's our front door. I think most people would probably come through the side door because this is what leads us into the kitchen. We do have a good size one car garage here. And there's our side door. This is where you would probably come and enter the home. Then we have a large back deck. Let me open this up. Have a large back deck here. We also have the back door, so you have a front or a front door, side door, and a back door here. Good size deck. Yard is about 95% fenced in. Little privacy section there. So just a great, great little house here. Next, I'm gonna go in the side door and we're gonna take a look. So here I just came in the side door. This is the door on the driveway side. You can go down the stairs to the semi-finished basement, or you can go into the kitchen. Have a gas range here, refrigerator over there, cabinets all down the back wall of the kitchen. Window overlooks the back deck and the backyard. And then this leads us into the dining room. Have a Looks like a newer ceiling fan here. All the ceilings have been textured. A lot of character in this home with the rolled archways. Give you another view of the kitchen. We do have cabinets above the range and the refrigerator and the range hood. There is a dishwasher. Nice built-in china cabinet. This is off the dining room. Here's the back door. You can see that leads out to the back deck where we were just at. Can put all kinds of goodies in here. And the bottom door even opens. So this is our dining room. This door here takes us to the upstairs, which we'll check out here in a moment. This is the traditional front door, so this is where guests or solicitors, if you will, will be coming to the front door. Have a fireplace built in on the right side. Track lights, so you can put your prized painting above the fireplace mantle right here. So a good size living room, it's long. Here's the mail chute. We do have a coat closet, it's kind of hidden back in here. Original door there, solid wood door for the front door. So that's our entry there. Give you another view of the family room, or living room, potato, potato. And our dining room has a back door in it. And we have two bedrooms. This is on the front right side of the home. These are our hardwood floors in here. There's our closet with the original door. Ceiling fan in here. Linen closet right here. Then the bathroom has been remodeled. This is a, uh, you don't see too many of these. This is a tub, it's a walk-in shower that's also a tub. So just a small little step. Grab bar, grab bar. Extender, that's all tiled. And then bedroom number two. This is on the back right side of the home. Hardwood floors in here. Original doorknob, original door. That's one of those crystal type doorknobs. Very nice. And next, let's go check out the upstairs and then we'll go check out the basement. So here I just came up the stairs. Immediately to your right, as you go upstairs, you can see the glass or crystal doorknob and that door is original and that opens up into a big walk-in closet over here just a ton of storage space in there then when you first come up we have an office area a built-in office desk this does stay perfect spot for the kids to do their homework or just a little makeup area perfect spot for shoes or pictures or just knickknacks if you're a collector with this being a Cape Cod style home there is storage space underneath this, as well as the other side. And then this opens up into a big bedroom. You see the vaulted ceilings. And there is another closet over here. What I've seen a lot of people do with this style of home is, since you have that big closet, turn this into another bathroom, and then make this a master suite with your bathroom up here. Next, let's go check out the basement. So here I just came down the basement stairs. To the right of the stairs is a big storage area. This is where our furnace and water heater 
is. Water heater is just behind the furnace. Water heater is brand new. Good spot for storage. There is a workbench area over here. The floors are all concrete and this is our laundry area as well. We have a big mud sink and then your washing machine will go here, dryer will go here. And there is, all the walls are painted, it's very clean down here, but there is finished off areas. This is ceramic tile here, full bathroom, and then bedroom number four, this is in the basement. The fourth bedroom here, closet, ready for your finishing touches with the closet shelves. Those, the cleats and whatnot are not there yet. Then our bathroom, this is all new, linen closet right there. New vanity, toilet, walk-in shower. Just need some shelves in there as well. Two light fixtures down here. And then there is another office area here. We have that area upstairs. Try to get in focus for you. There we go. Big section down here. Camera doesn't like this room to stay in focus, but big section down here for an office as well. So you have the spot upstairs and then you have the spot down here in the basement as well. So thanks for watching our picture of Cleveland Avenue in Dayton. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is John Murray with the Murray Group.biz of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate. I can be reached at area code 937-654-7355. That's 100 amp electrical service, by the way. Or you can reach me by email. That is john, J-O-N, at buywithjohn.com. That's B-U-Y-W-I-T-H-J-O-N.com. Thanks for watching.